Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. And this one, we're going around the world. You're joining me for a trip to 30 different places. But not all today. Don't think you want to watch me try 30 different sauces in one video. It'd be way too long. So we're going to try a few of them, a few more in the future. And we'll go from there. This is a gift pack I was given for the holidays. And I'm going to try some of them. They have a wide range of sauces on them. So stay tuned and we're going to do this. See you in a moment. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, follow the usual social media stuff. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. And I appreciate you guys watching this. I really do. Without you guys, there would be no channel. So I do this for myself, but I also do it for you. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell. Do the notification stuff. And enjoy the rest of the show. And welcome back. And good morning. Let's get this scene started by opening this up while I talk to you. So this is an interesting set. They're not spicy hot sauces. They're just various hot sauces from around the world. Uh, some garlic ones, some other odd ones. If you've seen my other uh, video I've done with the gift set, similar style type sauces. If I can get this thing open. They really want to package this one up. go okay so I will slide this puppy over it's got a nice globe in the background hard to see with the glare I'll slide that over there for the moment make sure we can see the sauces that well but I figure I'm gonna try a few of these and they really look good they got like Fiji and Hawaii and all kinds of places to travel to Myself a spoon to try these with, but uh, I just want to thank you for joining me. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that kind of stuff. And do releasing videos on Sundays and Tuesdays now, so twice a week you get to see me do stuff. Whether you want to or not, it's up to you. But that's when I release them. So the first one I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to do. Go across the roads as I drive these. So, this one here is a Fiji mango hot sauce. I'm trying to read what the other word was, I could, you know, because it was blurred. Fiji mango. Let me see if I can find this one here. Okay, so it's actually to. Wait, that can't be right. This is Cuban. They're not in order on here. That's always good. Fiji. I can't find the Fiji mango. Here we go. And this box tells me absolutely nothing. No ingredients on it. <laughs> Just has the calorie count. And doesn't really say the ingredients in here. So I'm going to guess it's just mango. <laughs> but we'll get started here and get this thing open and go from there. We got almost like the uh, plastic, you know, not plastic, the wax seal type topper on it. It is only paper, but it's got that look up on it. If I can get the paper out. Doesn't seem to be a part on these ones. Okay, so this one's got a very thin consistency. Give it a bit of a shake. My guess on the pepper by the smells of it is jalapeno. It's definitely smelling the mangoes and a little bit of jalapeno kind of scent to it. 
I'll give this a try here. Got a very, very thin consistency. Um, not sure. Don't care if I want to tip this to uh, show you because it's going to go everywhere. More mango smell now than that, but cheers. Yeah, definitely jalapeno. Well, maybe it's habanero. Maybe that's what that word's supposed to say. The font is very hard to read. It doesn't have the, I don't know, hard to say. PG mango anyways. So there's one. That's pretty decent. That would go good on like fish and stuff like that. It would be something that kind of like a white, a light white meat kind of sauce. Let's see what the next one is here. This one is British Red. Just that's all it says. British Red Hot Sauce. Wonder how British it is. Maybe the, maybe the queen tries it. Doubtful, but <laughs> give this one a sniff. This one's got almost a sweet and sour um, aroma to it. But actually, no, I'd say more of a, a plum sauce style than sweet and sour, actually. There we go. And it's got more of a plum sauce style uh, thickness, too. Cheers. Oh. Oh. I was not expecting that. It's got a very weird taste to it. Very vinegar forward. Which I don't mind vinegar, but whatever else is mixed in this, it's definitely not for me. <clears throat> yeah, that one's. Whew. I'm trying to think of something that that way reminds me of. Oddly enough, it kind of has like a sardine oil kind of aftertaste to it, if that makes any sense for those who I might be talking about. And it's just, yeah, definitely not one for me to be continuing to use. <laughs> so let's move on here. This one is Scarab Sauce from Egypt. Um, so being a scarab, might be bloody, might be dangerous, who knows. <laughs> Scarabs have a very interesting history in Egypt. Don't want to bore you with all that, so you can look it up if you want to. Oh, in the very, very dark red writing on red background, it actually says Egyptian fire. These companies need to really double check their fonts and color palettes. It's got almost a, almost a habanero sweetness smell, but it's also got a cayenne kind of smell to it as well. Let's try this one. It's about as thick as the other one, last one was. It's probably more of the cayenne type smell now. <clears throat> that one's actually really good. I can feel the heat on the wings of my tongue. So, 
Not habanero. <clears throat> but it's, this one actually, it's just more heat flavoring than like heat, what you feel in the taste. But it's not bad flavor. It's subtle, but. So we're gonna move on to the US of A to Texas Smoky Chipotle. <clears throat> Not sure how much Chipotle is used in Texas as I've never been. But I'm gonna guess probably about as much as it is anywhere else. It's pretty well used flavoring for sauce. That if this one wants to come open. So this one seems to be about the same consistency. Most of them are, are pretty uh, similar so far, except the first one was a little bit runnier. <coughs> Trying to get my uh, other rinse there. Let's see here. So Texas Smoky Chipotle. Yeah, definitely just Chipotle solid smelling. <coughs> Good. Except for one thing. <clears throat> I think they added too much liquid smoke. That's all I taste. <coughs> it tastes like Chipotle, but so much liquid smoke flavoring added to that. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> so, I'll go on to the fifth one and be the last one for this video so I don't bore you completely. This one is. Mayan ruins. What's it gonna ruin? Who knows? This one's got a almost slightly opaque texture, but you can see red flakes floating around in there. So it could be anything. It'd be nice if they actually had the ingredients on them, but sometimes that's half the fun, not knowing what you're eating. If I do happen to find the ingredients before I put this to air, I'll put them up here. Because it doesn't look like they're on here at all. Everything seems to be the same labeling except for the picture. Ooh. That's got a unique odor. <clears throat> Not smelling peppers. I'm not even sure what I'm smelling. Almost, almost like a papaya scent. Hmm. Give it a try. Find out. Yeah, I'm not sure what the flakes are, but. Yeah, still only getting that, like the, the fruity, like papaya kind of scent. Yeah, it's papaya. <laughs> Not a fan of papaya. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So out of those five, the British is actually a pretty good one. The rest aren't bad, but they've got their issues with the, like too much smoke papaya but they could be used in a lot of different things trying them on different ones but on that note <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe like share do the usual social media stuff thanks for watching me enjoy the heat stay spicy and we'll see you next time yeah definitely papaya flavored too much smoke The scared one was just... Mm. <laughs>
British one was good. The Fiji was not bad. Oh, well.